My next guest is currently on an extraordinary quest in memory of his seven-year-old daughter, Ellie, who died from a brain tumour three years he ago. He set off from Bristol last Friday. He's heading for Land's End. He's currently in Newquay. And I'm very glad to say that he joins us live right now. Peter, what an amazing thing to do. How are you? How is it going? Good morning, Lorraine. Um, it's going remarkably well. Um, I'm in to day seven today of my ride and uh, everything's holding up really well. It's going brilliantly. It's incredible because you're a big man. You're six feet tall and you're doing it on her tiny little bike. And I would imagine that you're thinking about her a lot because you've got time to, to sort of remember. Not that you ever don't think about her, but how has that been emotionally for you? Um, it's, it's been absolutely fine. I've really enjoyed the ride. Um, I have got a lot of time on my own, but I've also got to really concentrate to ride this bike. I've been, I'm following the, the national cycle route, which is fantastic. The word has seemed to have gotten around and everywhere I go, people toot their horns or come up to me and give me a donation, uh, uh, offer, offering support and being very generous all the way along. It's been absolutely fantastic. That's amazing. It really is. It's, an, it's a wonderful way to remember your daughter. And, and she will go on then with the money that you've raised to, to help others. A beautiful, beautiful little girl. And what was the... When, when she got sick, was there something that was not quite right about her? How did you realise that she wasn't well? Well, we, we'd noticed that her, one of her eyes was beha behaving in a strange fashion. Um, so we had her eye checked out at the Moorfield yeah, Eye Hospital in London. Yeah. And they said, actually, there's nothing wrong with her eyes at all. You need to get an emergency uh, brain scan. Um, we were immediately um, told that she had this, this dreadful brain tumour. But we were lucky in a way because... The doctors then, you know, said she had six months to live. So we had six months of really good, precious time with Ellie to pack in as much fun as possible. Gosh, what an amazing attitude you've got. That is extraordinary. It really, really is. And, and you're putting yourself through this. I know you're really upbeat, but, I mean, at the end of every night, you must be in absolute agony. To be honest, I'm on day seven now and my bum is starting to hurt. But the, uh, the rest of me is doing remarkably well. I'm doing my stretches in the evening, having a nice soak in the bath. Um, so, no, I'm, I'm really pleased. I've still got a few more miles to go, so I'm not going to get too uh, confident, but uh, it's looking pretty good. Oh, Peter, you're an absolute warrior. It is a delight to talk to you and um, thank you very much indeed. And good luck for the, rest of it, for the rest of the journey. Let us know how you got on.